The use of welding to repair plastics can be used as an alternative to gluing. Using this process is very advantageous in the context of a continuous, straightforward break. The advantage of this process is that the work is quick and clean, and in fact the quality of the repair will not depend upon weather conditions. Also, thanks to the identification of the plastic, you are assured of working with the correct nozzle. The bead sticks contained in the case correspond to the various plastics most commonly found in automobiles. There also exist other repairable plastic materials and specific bead sticks are available upon request. Restock for retail is by rolls of five linear meters regardless of the type of bead stick. When using for the first time, you must first configure the nozzle to English version. To do so, hold down the Select Menu button until the selected country of origin blinks. Then press the plus sign button and scroll down to English. To select it, press once on the Select Menu button. When you select the Select Menu button, it scrolls through the type of bead stick, then airspeed, and then temperature. Most of the time, it is not necessary to scroll this much. You only need to scroll to the type of bead stick since the device automatically recognizes the exact welding temperature and the appropriate speed. When you only use the gun momentarily, you must press standby only once to put it into standby mode. and It will then turn more slowly and make less noise. About 30 seconds of warm-up time is necessary before the gun is at the proper temperature. The scraper thus allows you to scour the paint around the brake to ensure proper adherence. Use the drill to make a hole at the end of the brake. Use the countersink to clean the chippings and other residue from the brake. Apply the Reparshock degreasing agent to a cloth and not directly on the plastic. The preparation of the substrata is now done. Attach the nozzle adapter to the gun head. Careful, because any nozzle should be held with pliers and tongs since it will be very hot. Attach the tack welding nozzle to the nozzle adapter. Slide the nozzle from the top to the bottom in order for the plastic to reach temperature and create a bond between the two parts. Remove the tack welding nozzle and place it in the ashtray. Attach the welding nozzle to the nozzle adapter. Hold the triangular nozzle that corresponds to the type of plastic and bevel the end of it in order that the point can penetrate into the drilled opening. Try putting the bead stick inside the nozzle while empty in order to ensure that no blockage will alter this stage of welding. Now start welding. The pointy end of the bead stick should go into the break. Advance from the drilling point towards the exterior along the length of the brake. The technique consists of moving along as the bead stick begins to melt on the surface. Remove the welding nozzle and apply the backing nozzle for flat bead sticks. Use the bead stick that corresponds to the type of plastic. Apply two or three backings inside perpendicular to the brake. One of the backings must be applied to the edge of the area. When you have completed your repair, don't extinguish the device right away 
because this risks damaging it. To extinguish it, press two times in a row on the standby button and the temperature selected will progressively diminish. Sand down the exterior of your repair only when it has cooled. Degrease the area to remove any presence of dust. Apply the primer, which will ensure good adherence of the finishing putty. Then spread the finishing putty on the repair area. Sand. Prime with the DBSA plastic primer. To finish, apply the plastic restructuring agent and plastics paints. These products are also available in the DBSA line of products. It is also possible to repair tarpaulins for trucks, cars, swimming pools, etc by using the special tarp nozzle and its rubberized application roller.